Now we talk about the processes of nutrition includes acquiring energy, various strategies as we talked about previously, various strategies of acquiring food by mouth parts, by behavior or uh, maybe through sunlight or something. But the organisms, particularly animals, we are more uh, concerned in this course with animals, they have to digest their food. We divide this process in a um, in few steps. We call them ingestion, taking the food in. The next step is digestion. Digestion means breaking the food into smaller parts. Then comes absorption, absorbing those smaller parts. Then comes assimilation, that is making those broken parts or uh, very, very small pieces, the digested food part of the body or convert these into energy uh, and utilizing these for various functions of the body or maybe for making different structures of the body. Then comes at the end, elimination, uh, removing the undigested parts of the food from the body. We call it elimination. So, the whole process of uh, the nutrition and digestion is ingestion, digestion, absorption, uh, assimilation and elimination. After acquiring food, that is uh, having some food in front, organisms have to ingest that food, take that food inside the mouth. Then next step comes the digestion. When the food comes inside the digestive tract of the organism, then organisms have to break it into smaller pieces. We call it this process digestion. When the food is digested, broken into smaller parts, then it have to be um, absorbed by the transport system of the organism, that is the blood circulatory system. Um, it have to go or uh, absorbed by the blood through the digestive system. Then it have to be distributed throughout the body to, assimil to be assimilated. And the remaining part, uh, which is uh, not digested, which is, which is undigestible, have to be eliminated from the body. We take the example uh, of uh, the human digestive system uh, to describe and explain all of these processes. Human beings, as we know, we are the omnivores. We eat vegetables. Some of us are totally vegetarian. Some of us are um, mainly meat eaters, but we have, we take some vegetables. Uh, but most of us eat both things or maybe the combination of these. We are omnivores. We can eat both. If we look at our teeth, our teeth have all the four types. We have incisors, our front teeth, we have canines, all the four on sides. Uh, then comes our premolar, uh, premolars and the molars, uh, basically kehte hain. So we have all the four kinds of teeth because we have to take all types of food. Digestive system also adapt according to the nature of the food present um, available to an organism. Um, human being uh, is available with almost all types of foods. Uh, now we talk about the basic components of human digestive system. The human digestive system consists of an alimentary canal um, which starts from mouth to anus. Uh, then it is associated with certain accessory glands, um, for example, liver, pancreas, uh, which uh, pour there some secretions inside the digestive tract to help in the digestion of the food. Uh, we start from uh, the alimentary canal. The alimentary canal uh, of human beings is a very long tube, hollow straight, uh, hollow tube, uh, which is um, when it reaches at intestine, it is highly convoluted, of course, because intestine is very long. Uh, the various parts of human digestive tube or the alimentary canal are um, the oral cavity, the pharynx, esophagus, stomach, um, intestines, small intestine and the large intestine and the last parts, the rectum and the anus. Um, and then comes the accessory glands, liver and pancreas which are associated uh, with the digestive system but they are very important part of the digestive system because they have to pour certain secretions um, which have to digest certain parts of the um, foods. Without them, uh, we cannot digest uh, some parts of the food or we may not detoxify um, our internal organs.